Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Just a reminder, I still offer coaching and it's one of the best ways to make significant improvements in your life over time. And my prices are ridiculously low. So the, check the email, send me an email if you want the free consultation and then the first session is five bucks, you can't lose. All right, let's start with a thing called momentum. Momentum is really your saving grace in getting the things done that you want in your life. And we either propel the momentum or we block the momentum. And once that momentum is blocked, it's like trying to move a big boulder downhill. Initially, it's really hard to get the ball rolling again or getting the rock rolling again. And it takes a lot of effort, force, and there's going to be resistance. And one of the things that really challenge us today and challenge a lot of my clients is there's so many temptations. There's the biggest one is the internet and all the plethora of things that are available to do uh, on the internet, Facebook, YouTube, Reddit, video games, all that type of stuff really can be a huge distraction and block for you to accomplish what you want out, out of your day. And then afterwards, you the time flies, you spend one hour, two hours, three hours, before you know it, a good portion of the days pass and then you feel really bad. You feel bad about yourself. Why didn't I get more accomplished? I should have been more productive. Now, I'm not saying not to do those things. Those things can be a time suck. And one of the ways a tool that I'm going to recommend is to time it. Set a little clock, whether on your phone, on your computer. Uh, for Mac, I use a program called Time Bar, which is fantastic. It has a little bar at the top and it disappears. But you want to time your breaks. So if you're going to go on the internet, go on Facebook, your monkey mind wants that immediate gratification. It wants that pleasure. It wants to not have to put forth effort. It doesn't see the value of short-term sacrifice for a benefit that is off in the future. And in fact, you want to consider those as almost like you have two parts of your being. There's the present self and the future self. And the present self wants what tastes good, what feels good, wants the gratification, the immediate pleasure. And what present self does, it constantly is burdening, burdening future self by saying, oh, I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to leave it to the future. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. And then once future self arrives, it's like, I ain't doing this. This is too much effort. And what we want to create is balance. The mistake people make is they go from one extreme to the other, one extreme to the other, back and forth, up and down like a yo-yo. And they can't understand why they can't stay consistent. The most valuable thing you can do for yourself is stay consistent and not focus on intensity or quantity. So with my clients, when we start off our goals, if they have an exercise goal or losing weight or they want to study more and they want to be more disciplined or whatever area they want to be more productive, start really, really small. I tell my clients, give me anything. If you can give me five minutes of exercise, go out for a short walk, we can do wonders with that. And the nice thing about coaching is that you now have the social accountability which is completely different than trying to do these goals on your own. You have somebody supporting you, encouraging you, and most importantly, holding you accountable. And that, that makes the difference. Whereas before you're trying to accomplish goals on your own, we're not isolated beings. We are meant to be social. So that, that's also a huge help, is having someone to hold you accountable and encourage you. All right, so you want to have that momentum by setting short little achievable goals. So if your goal is to exercise five minutes, if your goal is to study, whatever your goal is, 
balance it with the things that you still like to do. So if you like to go on the internet, go ahead and do that, but cap it. The problem is we don't set any limits for ourselves. When we're doing something, engaging in a behavior that's just a short-term pleasure, it's just the monkey gets caught up in it. And, and like I said before, you know what the days uh, has been passed, passed you by. And so what you want to do is just take a little timer, set the timer and limit it and say, okay, I'm going to do 30 minutes of this, of watching videos or going on Facebook. And then once that timer goes off, go back to what you have to do to be productive. A great technique is called the magic work cycle. And there's even a website um, that has a built-in web timer of 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off. I've mentioned that in previous videos. Another great thing you can do to motivate yourself is to get out of the house. Get out of your apartment. Go to the library. Go to a coffee shop. Go to a, a restaurant. Whatever it is, there's so many anchors we have and habits that are deeply ingrained when we stay at our house or our apartment. It's associated with relaxation and procrastination and short-term pleasure. You double, triple, or quadruple your productivity rate just by getting out of the house. Now, make sure the new place that you go, you keep to good habits. You don't develop the same procrastinating habits out there. And once you, once you do that, you start really noticing a difference. Your energy is different. You're more productive. You're more focused getting out of your house. So two things, get out of your house. And the second thing is time, set a timer. Time everything. If you want to be productive, you, um, the, the uh, Pomodoro timers is a great resource, a great tool in order to help you be productive. Use the Pomodoro timer and time also time your breaks. That just those two things will make a big, big difference. And then you want, again, you want to keep the momentum. And when you're in relax mode or pleasure mode and doing things that you consider might be time wasters, it's you start losing the motivation to get up and shift. It's hard to shift gears. It's hard to go from watching YouTube videos to studying. And if you set that timer, you're just automatic. Make sure you don't ignore the timer. You're automatically triggered or uh, you are automatic responsive to the timer. Once that timer goes off, bam, it's time uh, to study. And the longer you sit, the longer you do nothing, the harder it is. Another great thing is you don't want to be sitting too long. And so getting up, just the act of standing up, getting out of your chair, getting off the couch is also a huge benefit to create that, that momentum. And then when you're doing the new thing, set it as a very short term time, a short time. So if you're going to go from watching videos or doing something on the internet to going to studying, just set a timer. Okay, I'm just going to study for five minutes. And the hardest part is starting. Once you get into it and after the five minutes, the majority of the time you're probably going to go longer, 20, 30, 45 minutes. It's the starting that, that makes it difficult. And the, the timer will become uh, your best friend. So Google Pomodoro Timers. Um, check out Magic Work Cycle. And I'll put that in the, the link in the description. And that's about it. Thank you very much for your support. And again, if you want to get some very uh, affordable coaching, send me an email. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.